Derek, good morning. Good morning, Kristen. Authorities tell us we're looking at $70,000 of damage in all. Members of the Metro Arson Strike Team were here just a short time ago, combing through the inside of this church. Really, not much damage visible from the outside. Now, investigators do say that someone forced entry into this church, used matches to set multiple fires on the stage and drapes. They say no chemical accelerant was used here. Emergency crews responded just before midnight. San Diego firefighters tell us the fire spread to the walls and the ceiling a bit, but say overall it was relatively small and the damage was localized. There's no fire damage throughout the rest of the building, just some smoke damage throughout, and we're ventilating at this time, and uh, there's no water damage or any extension. Uh, there was no need to cut a hole in the roof to do ventilation, so we were able to do it with uh, blowers. And back live, you're looking at some signs here of some possible forced entry. The Jehovah's Witnesses religion is a Christian denomination. They're somewhat controversial, known for their door-to-door -door preaching. Arson investigators tried to get fingerprints from this scene, but at this point, they really don't have many clues to the suspect's identity. Coming up in the next half hour, what investigators are telling us about the possibility this fire was a cover-up for something else. Reporting live in University Heights, Derek Stahl, San Diego 6 News.